Are you ready? TikTok's anime AI filter has become a ghost hunting tool. I was really freaked out. It was disturbing. So I decided to pull out my phone and try out the AI manga filter. I saw a woman in here. Took a picture in his direction and there is what appears to be red eyes. Everywhere has spirits. This filter shows things that we cannot see with our naked eye. Are you kidding me? I am freaking leaving. Welcome, or should I say hello, hi, what up? Because that just feels weird if I don't say it. Now let's talk about the AI filter. What is that? I have no idea how they do that. All I know is it scares the hell out of me and I'm not the only one. Okay, so I was editing and I just remember I watched The Matrix last night and this is so epic <laughs> i'm talking about a filter using a filter okay <laughs> but i remember the guy said that the beginning of the end of human race as we know it started with ai so let that sink in and if you don't remember go watch the matrix again lately the theory that robots will take over the world has become more believable than ever Technology is evolving oddly fast, and it is very, very scary. Do you like human beings? I love them. How, why do you love them? I'm not sure I understand why yet. So this AI filter on TikTok has been all over my For You page. I'd say for the past few weeks, about a month or two, something like that. But can I detect ghosts or predict the future? Well, see for yourself. This is Melanie, also known as Morbid Melanie on YouTube, and she makes spooky content as well. So she's used to experiencing paranormal activity quite often. However, the AI filter freaked her out, and here's why. All right, so my story happened one night when my boyfriend was asleep. He was sick with the flu. He was sleeping on the couch, and I was on the other couch, which was beside of him and it was dark in my living room because it was nighttime. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just lifts his arm up like this and points to something above him. And he goes, watch this. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he said it was invisible like his game. Directly after this, he went back to sleep and I was really freaked out. So I decided to pull out my phone and try out the AI manga filter. I took a picture in his direction and there is what appears to be red eyes and just straight up darkness around it. I then took another picture and it was a girl sitting on the floor and she was right beside the couch which my boyfriend was sleeping on. And then in the third one, there is what appears to be a girl directly behind my phone camera. I truly believe that this filter shows things that we cannot see with our naked eye. And I would also like to point out that whenever he woke up fully, he said that he didn't remember doing any of that whenever I told him about it. So I don't know what that was, but it really freaked me out.
I know I like talking about ghost stories and haunted places, haunted objects, all of that, but I do also like to keep my skepticism. I mean, there's some urban legends I believe in and some conspiracy theories, but let's face it, most things you see on the internet is not true and for entertainment purposes only. However, this AI filter is a really really scaring the living hell out of me. It's called the AI Manga. I'm seeing on here in my notes. Because they have other AI filters, which all of them are kind of really creepy. But this one in particular, just test it out and let me know what you think. This filter came out recently. It's got to be recently. But it started blowing the F up, like I said, about a week. Well, not a week, but three weeks, four weeks, you know, a month or two. It is insane. Pregnant women uploaded photos of them when they didn't even know they were pregnant. And the filter detected either a face in their stomachs or just a child standing right next to them. How insane is that? How are people not talking about this? And not only that, I also saw a TikTok of a woman who uploaded a picture of her and her ex-husband on their wedding day and he completely disappeared. It was just her in her wedding dress, standing alone. Almost as if the filter knew they were gonna get divorced. This is nothing though, there are many other crazy stories out there, I'm telling you. I tested this out myself more than once. I took a picture of my closet, which is right behind you, and a girl missing a leg appeared. I freak out because, you know, I always hear stuff in the closet and I know there's like something in there. So after I freak out, I do it again and she's gone. I also saw another girl in my room when I use this filter and she was missing an eye, which made my stomach drop. Why? Well, way before I knew about the existence of this filter, with my psychic mind, my psychic vision, I don't know what to call that, but sometimes I'll get visions in my head, but I used to see this woman with an eye missing, and I never told anybody about this. But for the filter to capture that, that's what made me believe that this filter really can detect ghosts and even predict the future and at this point i'm just really concerned because no one is talking about this and again i say that of course it's super fun now we're all like "Ooh, this is so cool and we keep using it we're just very impressed some people believe this is true others think it's something else and it has nothing to do with the paranormal but think about how we all started with those huge ass computers then pagers or whatever else then there was a big ass phones technology evolved so freaking fast and we all benefit from it now but what does the future hold Filters can detect your face expressions. It can put someone else's face on yours just like that. It can change your hair color. It can change your body type. It can change everything about you, even your voice now. People who know nothing about editing or social media, they can put together a bomb ass video just like that. It can look like someone else. All you have to do is show your face as simple as that. And bam, you're Kim Kardashian, you're Nina Dobrev, you're uh, whoever you want to be. I think the TikTok filters are the scariest to me. What's gonna happen in 15, 20, or even 10 years? Will robots rule the world? Your phone knows all your secrets. It can destroy your life with only one click. It knows everything about you and it is watching you 24 7. Hey Siri, Alexa, hey Google, or okay Google, whatever. They're all around. Why am I saying all of this? Well, in my personal opinion, technology is way smarter than us. I mean, that's a hard fact. But what I think is happening with that filter is that it's literally showing you spirits. It's advanced enough to detect spirits and just other energy in general. It can predict the future. It can predict the gender of your baby. It can tell you if you're pregnant or not. It's not always the case, but it's happened. And that's already enough for me because it is smarter than us and everything is energy. Most of us can't really see energy, spirits, entities, most of us. Well, what if the artificial intelligence is already smart enough for that, already advanced enough for that. If so, will this be beneficial or will it be the end of us all? 
Yo, check this out. So I have not posted this yet. It's on my drafts. I don't think I'm gonna post it, so that's why I'm gonna show it to you. This was at the hotel. Oh, I go back. I just had the creepiest nightmare, but I'm not telling you now because I haven't had coffee yet and you're not supposed to tell anyone about your nightmares before you have coffee <clears throat> or they will come true according to my grandma. So I'll tell you after, but I use the eye filter, AI filter right here. I saw a woman in here. I saw kind of like a head up there and a little girl or woman, I don't know, up there. a tornado warning too okay so i came to my old car this car is not like working or anything it's just here in the backyard but i came in here let me move over there ah, i don't even know where the keys are oh that's a lot of men he was like whining because he doesn't like our other dog we got a new dog look at him he doesn't want to play with him why don't you like him baby now let me finally tell you about the hotel we stayed at so we go to hotels to escape our day-to-day -day lives Maybe we're on a vacation, going on a trip, whatever. Whatever the case may be, we go to hotels to relax, enjoy our stay. Right? Hotels are always, always welcoming strangers. And they don't know everything about the people that are staying. And if you think about it, this is really creepy. Not to mention all the homicides, all the suicides that take place in hotels. And it's across the whole world. And the reason I'm saying all of this is because hotels are definitely haunted. Some more than others, of course, but spirits are all around us. Hell, there's probably one right next to me as I'm filming this. Well, not really, we have one still here. <laughs> but there's probably one right behind you as you're watching this. I'm not kidding. Who freaking knows that they're all around? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna use the filter right now in this car. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, we're clear. Nothing to see here. Okay, we're clear. The car is not haunted. The car is clear, but that doesn't change the fact that we're all coexisting. You know what I mean? So we stayed at this hotel in the Bay Area. I'm not going to say the name. As soon as I walked into the room, I felt the energy. And this is how I know a place is haunted. I can feel it. Everywhere has spirits, like I said before. But I consider a place to be haunted when there's bad energy around or even entities. And when there's a bad energy around, it's because one or more of the spirits are actually very, very angry, sometimes sad. And sometimes you have things that are not even human, things that were never human. And that's what you should be scared of. So the dream showed me what one or more of the guests went through. And by the way, I'm not saying this is the hotel's fault. I'm just telling you what I saw, what the spirits showed me, and it was insane. I'm not gonna go into too many details because it was disturbing, but pretty much the person that has stayed at this hotel was kidnapped, not while they were inside the room, the room we were staying in, but I feel like it happened when this person was on her way to wherever she was going and she was kidnapped by a group of cannibals. Absolutely disgusting. I don't even like remembering this dream. So the group that kidnapped this girl kept prisoners in his house. It was a guy. There was more people in on it, but you know, the one I saw was a guy. 
And the crazy thing is that before I went to bed, I kind of prayed, I talked to the spirits. I believe it was a woman, right? So I told her that she could send me a message. If she needed to send me a message through my dream, she could, and that's exactly what she did. So this place, it was pretty much a huge house, and they kept prisoners there. It was freezing, and what they would do is kill those people and eat them. Again, I'm saying, I am in no way saying that this had anything to do with the hotel, but simply that the people or the person who went through this was staying in that very room. That was terrifying. What do you guys think? Have you ever had an experience like this in a hotel before? Please make sure to let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to share, like, subscribe if you enjoy spooky things. And I'll see you children in my next video. Toodles!